I'm going to show you how to make a narrated slideshow using Adobe Spark. And this is a new tool from Adobe that really offers a lot of good creative options. We're going to use it to make a video. Now I already built my presentation slides in Google Slides. You could get them in other ways. There are many ways to get pictures into Adobe Spark, but I did it this way. And I went to file for each one of these frames and I downloaded them as a PNG. So they're saved on the Chromebook that I'm using right now. And you would want to do that with any slide that you need. Now going back to Spark at spark.adobe.com, I'm going to click Login. And if you're signed in on a Chromebook or you're signed into Chrome, this is a really easy way for you to sign in here. Just pick the Google option. The first time you sign in, you'll be asked to allow the application to have access to your drive and it will also ask you to accept the terms. Your projects will load up here, which of course will be blank at first. And to start a new one, you just click the plus. You have these options. And as I said, we're making a video. So I'm going to pick that and it will load up the editor. Now I'm not going to worry a lot about options here, so I'm even going to skip that. And I'm just going to pick this option to start from scratch. I'm not going to look at their templates. You could explore that if you want to. Here are some themes that you could use. I'm going to skip that and go to layouts because we already have our frames as images that would fill the screen. So I'm going to pick this option here, which is the full screen photo. It gives me the option. You could click the plus and then click photo to bring in a picture. You can search for them pull them in from these services, but mine are already on my Chromebook. So I'm going to click upload photo and that will show me the files that I have saved. I'm picking the first one and clicking open. And it's very easy to add narration. You just click this and hold it down while you talk. The first time you do it, it will ask you up here to allow it to have access to your microphone. So you do have to do that the first time. When I click this, notice that if it's recording right, the seconds are ticking by, and it actually is recording me right now, which would be very bad narration for um, this slide. So actually, to, to clean that up, all I had to do is click it again, and it will overwrite that. So now I'll narrate the slide. This is a short presentation on tools. We will talk about various tools, including digital tools. Now if I click play here, it will play that so I can hear it and make sure it's good enough. This is a short presentation on tools. Notice that it does add some music in the background and I can choose which music it adds right here and I can set the volume if it's too loud or too soft. That's good, so I am now going to click plus to add a new frame. And I will do that same thing. It's already got full screen photo selected. I'm going to import my next frame. And we'll do this one. It will upload that. And I'm just going to do a quick recording. As you know, some tools are less effective than others. Now I should point out that it sets this to be a number of seconds based on how long your narration is. If you want to change that, you can click that and then you'd have to remove the narration to see this, but it has a slider so that you can set how long it is. In case you don't have narration on that slide, that's how you do it. Now you can preview this if you want, but um, right now what I'm going to do is just click share. So when you click share, it will open up these options and actually all this stuff on the right, I'm not even going to fill this out because this would post it online and you don't need to. In fact, if your presentation has any information in it that would identify you, you shouldn't post it online. What I'm going to do is download it to my Chromebook. When I click download, it will um, it'll prepare it for download and you'll see the progress go across here. This can take a little while. So I'm actually going to pause the video and then we'll come back when this is done. 
So when the video does finally download, you can see here that it will download to your Chromebook or your computer. Just make sure you know where it's being saved. And here are my downloads on the Chromebook. And right here you can see the video has shown up. So this is the mixed down video from Adobe Spark. If I want to get that in my Google Drive so I can share that with teachers, I am going to click New, File Upload, and then I will select it. I could right click on it and rename it if I want. I'm just going to double click it. That will upload it to my drive, which you can see the progress here. And then it shows up right here in my drive. Now, I could turn it into a classroom or I could share it with the teacher depending on what they asked you to do.